Well, it's Sunday afternoon and we have an extremely busy week ahead of us here at the office in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey. Uh, so with that said, I'm here just getting some things ready and I wanted to pass along some just quick tips uh, for those of you who are enjoying the weekend uh, at the shore or, or wherever you are in the city. If you are arrested, it's very important that you contact an attorney as soon as possible. And the reason is, is because what's been happening is, is that a lot of district attorney offices have been asking for extremely high bails on even first time offenders. I think I put out a video out a few weeks ago saying that in Philadelphia, for instance, they were asking for, in a lot of cases, a million dollars bail for, for situations where normally they would ask for you know, RR bail or even like a or a very small amount of bail. So with that said, it's very important that if you are arrested, you reach out to your family and then those, and then those, those people reach out to uh, an attorney and, and, and get one on board for that person to appear for you at a bail hearing. Remember in Philadelphia, typically you will have a bail hearing within, I say, eight to 15 hours of being arrested. So you have a little bit of time after the arrest uh, to get in, touch with your family, and hopefully get an attorney on board. In the counties, it's gonna be a lot faster, but again, most times they will give you an opportunity to reach out to a lawyer to have that person represent you. Um, the best time to negotiate bail is when it's initially set. After that, there are things that we can do to help you, but understand that that will take an additional motion. So you will incur not only further legal expenses, but it will take some additional time. Typically, it could take you know, three to five days in most situations, and that was pre-COVID. In addition, this weekend, uh, I put out a video on Friday. If you're stopped for suspicion of DUI, do not refuse the breathalyzer test. Uh, just simply give the officer your license, your insurance information, that it, and that's it. Don't answer any questions. Don't don't consent to the search of your car, or your home, or your property, or any of that. Finally, if you are arrested, you are going to have a preliminary hearing after you are released, hopefully on bail. Remember that if you're having a preliminary hearing in the counties in Pennsylvania, do not waive the preliminary hearing unless you're receiving something in exchange, whether it be reduced bail, some of the charges dismissed or downgraded, something. That's very important. A lot of times the, the assistant district attorneys out in the counties want us to waive the preliminary hearing and don't want to offer anything in exchange for that waiver. Just keep that in the back of your mind. In New Jersey, you're not going to be under the same system. Remember that unlike Pennsylvania, New Jersey doesn't have that preliminary hearing system. They have an indictment system, so it's much different. Remember that in New Jersey, there are indictable offenses and disorderly persons offenses, which are non-indictable offenses. Disorderly persons offenses, or DPs, will be handled in municipal court, and they're a lot less serious than indictable offenses, otherwise known as felony offenses in Pennsylvania for the most part. So with that, I want to wish you all a good weekend. If you have questions, give our office a call at 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania. In New Jersey, 856-793-7429. Again, Pennsylvania, 215-755-9000. New Jersey, 856-793-7429. Our website, gambonelaw.com. There's a lot of resources in there that can help you with your criminal case or a friend's criminal case. And with that, I wish you all a good Sunday and I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great week.